Hey guys, Austin BMX here with another Red Dead Redemption video. Uh, today's video, we're going to be doing something pretty cool. We recently made it all the way to level 54. And level 51, I believe, and 54 has some pretty cool unlocks that Gingerbread is going to love. Our first improved saddle we can buy, and 54 is the best stirrups you can buy. The reason I don't have stirrups right now is because I have the alligator saddle, which was a PS4 free exclusive, and you can't upgrade that saddle at all. And it was the best stats that I could buy until we got to our first improved saddle. Level 51 is the first improved saddle. We're gonna head over to Valentine, and we're gonna buy this saddle and the improved stirrups and see how much better, much better? I guess that's a word, but much better. <laughs> Gingerbread reacts to riding and speed. So we're gonna do ourselves a little timer. We're gonna ride as fast as we can to Valentine. Let's start at this bridge right here, guys. I got a timer right here. Let's stick it right over here so you guys can see a little better. That should work out a lot better for you right there. So, we're going to time ourselves to see how fast we can get to Valentine. Let's say two of the railroad tracks by the, by the post office. Let's make ourselves a march. It's going to be down this road. It's be a pretty easy ride. Let's see. That should be right there. So, let's see until we cross that tracks right there. Let's see how fast we can get there. Let's see how much of a drain it puts on gingerbread. Uh, right now, let's get cores all the way up. So we can have an even. All right, cores are all the way up, and that's as high as our outer rings go, which is pretty nice. Let's see if we can make it all the way to Valentine full speed and not wear our cores all the way down, and also how fast we can get there. If you guys enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I try to upload quite a lot. There hasn't been much content right now, and I'm not going to be any guy that uploads a 10-minute long commentary of, of me talking about an update. I know you guys know how to read, so I did a live stream. We talked about it, but I'm not going to be doing an update. So you guys are looking for those kind of videos. Sorry, I'm going to try to get to some cool content. And this content is exciting, I think, so I'm getting a video out for you guys. All right, so we're going to start the timer, and we're going to go. Here we go. All right, we're off. We're just going to go full speed, just follow our trail. That way it's the same path there and the same path back. Try to get Ginger Rip to full speed here. Hey, let, me, let me know what you guys think about the update that's coming. I mean, I'll talk about it while I'm doing other stuff, but I'm not going to make a video and put up screenshots of the tweets. I mean, I know you guys know how to read that kind of stuff. I hope. I'm pretty excited for some of the update stuff that's coming. I'm trying to follow the trail, so I'm kind of watching my mini-map over there. So we've lost close to half our stamina, it looks like, right now. Is that right? Is that half? Nah, about half right. Probably like right now, it's about half. Hopefully we're halfway there. It's been about a minute almost. Yeah, 50, yeah, a minute. Gingerbread is starting to get wore out. We're almost... Now we're only to sit out. Oh, I should have turned right there, dang it. Just lost ourselves a few seconds. Alright, so Gingerbread's almost wore out running this whole way. That's not good. We're not going to give it any give him any stimulants or anything. We're going to go as far as we can, and then we will let him recharge at least halfway before we start going again. Let's, let's say that. So he's almost made it. I mean, we're super close. We're just going to start bucking us out. He hasn't bucked us yet, because now our core is going to wear out. We might barely make it. Just barely, right? I think we're going to be able to make it without getting bucked. Let's 
see, and we're looking at it. Just two minutes right there. So two minutes and two seconds. And we were, I mean, look how much is left. Barely anything, right? Let's feed gingerbread real quick so we can get cores back up and see how fast this regenerates. Still got a thing moving. Let's see, that was about... It was about at 15 when I fed him, so that's been about 10 seconds now. So it takes about 20 seconds for gingerbread. Hmm, maybe more than that. That's about 20 seconds there, we're still not full. Oh, you guys can't see the timers in the dark. So I'm just looking at time right now. So it took us 2 minutes and 2 seconds to get here. And then we fed gingerbread, got core back up. Oh man, it's a long time. So almost, we fed, fed him kind of late, let's reset that, fed him kind of late, I think it was about at 15, so it still took almost 50 seconds for core to get recharged. Let's head on in the stable, I'll show you the pretty sweet saddle and stuff we can buy now. I'm pretty excited, I've been waiting for a long time to get this level. So I'm pretty sure level 51 is where you can buy your first improved saddle. If you want to know what improved means, go to tax, tack and services, and we'll go to tack. Uh, just go on empty slot here. I'm pretty sure you can have as many saddles as you want, it doesn't matter. So all these saddles unlock at different levels. I mean, we can go buy, can we buy the stock? Yeah, so we can buy this stock saddle right here. And if we go to, Right there, we can see it's a negative eight, negative six, plus eight. That means it drains its stamina core eight percent slower than normal. It drains its health core six percent slower than normal, and it regains its stamina eight percent fast. That's what that means. That's about the same as the saddle we have. The saddle we have right now is a free saddle that you got for a PS4 exclusive. It was, Gingerbread was free actually too. If you guys are on PS4 and you didn't play the first, I think it was more than 30 days. It's supposed to be a 30 day exclusive, uh, but I think it was a little longer than that, but you gotta buy it now. I think you can still buy Gingerbread, this horse too. It costs like a hundred bucks, but it's still pretty cheap. Cause he's, I mean, we'll look at his stats too if you want. But the saddle you got was a negative eight, negative eight, plus eight, and then a plus 20. The plus 20 at the bottom is the stirrups that you have. You can get better ones, but unfortunately you can't put better ones on this saddle. If that makes sense. I could put better ones on this saddle, but it was only a negative 4, negative 8, plus 6, so I just kept this saddle for now. Now, we can... all Every single one of these saddles, guys, has an improved version. Let's do that. The improved version takes a while to unlock. Like, see, the, the next... The first one I just unlocked right here, I unlocked it at level 51. The next one, the Ranch Cutter Saddle unlocks at 64. I think they keep going up to the Dakota Saddle here. The regular saddle's unlocked, but the improved one unlocks, well that one's at 60. Let's make sure we don't have anything else sitting around. Yeah, that's 69. I've looked at them all before. There's no other improved one we can do, yeah. They're all higher than us now. But, we could buy this improved saddle. Let's look at the stats real quick. Negative 12, negative 14, plus 12. Remember guys, right now we're at 888, I think, right? Is that where we were at? No, write this stuff down, sorry, whoops. Yeah, 888 is where we're at right now. So this improved saddle, the first one you can buy, level 51, is negative 12, negative 14, negative plus 12. That means it core drain rate is 12% slower on stamina, 14% slower on health, and it regains 12% faster. So we should regain our, our stamina a lot faster once we get to Emerald Station on the way back this time. So we're gonna buy this saddle. Let's see, what color should we get? Ooh, that one's pretty sweet. Why can I not see the colors? Oh, there we go. Oh, that one's pretty cool too with the black. That one kind of matches what we already have for our saddlebags. 
Oh man, it's such a hard decision. Guys, we're gonna have to live with this forever. I think I like that one. It kind of matches the stuff. We'll go with that. We're gonna buy. Now, since this is a purchase saddle, we can go to stirrups. The stirrups are the only thing in the accessories that will increase anything with your horse. I wish you could buy, you could buy large saddlebags, like upgrade a saddlebag, but it doesn't really upgrade anything. I wish this allows you to carry more stuff in your, on your horse satchel, you know, like more feathers and stuff. Maybe, maybe, in, maybe in the future. Rockstar, if you're watching, you gotta, you gotta do that to us. You gotta do that, you gotta do that for us. So stirrups is what we can do, and they unlock throughout your levels. I haven't bought any because like I said, I used that alligator saddle. That alligator saddle you could not put stirrups on because it already had stirrups on, that's why it was a plus 20. Now I can put stirrups on this saddle and I am level 54, which is allows you to buy the best stirrups there are. All the way down here, they're called hooded stirrups. And if you could see, their drain rate is a negative 50, guys, negative 50. 50. That means Gingerbread's stamina core will drain 50% slower than normal. Right now we're at 20%. So that's over twice as slow than it currently does. I think we're going to make it to Emerald Downs without even using half our stamina. That would be awesome. Also, if you look... I don't know if I could tell this on the other saddle. But if you look at these stirrups... Look at the speed and acceleration. See, this stirrup allows Gingerbread's speed and acceleration to be fully unlocked. See that? See the extra two yellow slots down there? See, like these ones right here allow it to be one. It's kind of like on your guns when you change your ammo and it fully unlocks its potential. Fully unlocking the potential. So awesome. I am super excited to go for a ride. Let's see, anything else cool? Let's, let's see if there's anything else cool that looks awesome in here. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh that looks kind of sweet. Yeah, well, that's three gold. Ooh, yeah. I don't know if I want to buy it with gold. Oh, that one's pretty cool. Redemption Sidewinder Horn. Ooh, that one's sweet. Oh, that's three gold. Of course, all the ones that are sweet, are super sweet, are gold. That's all right. All right, there we go. Look at those stirrups. Super sweet saddle. Let's jump on on it here. Let's make sure that we had that on. Just the quick. Yes. Okay. Let's jump on out of the stables. Go over to the railroad tracks. Let's see how fast we can get back to Emerald Station. Or actually, we weren't in Emerald Station. We were, we were in Emerald Ranch. I'm pretty sure it's going to be super quick. Hey guys, leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you've purchased any upgrades like this for your horse. This is the first ones I've purchased. I've had gingerbread and that alligator saddle since the day I got Red Dead, or since the day Red Dead Online came out, which is technically the day I got the game. So um, I haven't had any better stats on horse. Um, I just started playing on story mode, and I my horse is... I just last night bought a horse that's about as good as Gingerbread and did some upgrades on the saddle. So I don't have much experience with this kind of upgraded stuff. So let's get right here. Put our marker down. Make sure Gingerbread is fully ready to go, which should be because, yeah, good to go. Okay. Let's put our marker down real quick so we know which line to follow. We want to go right back to where we, were, we are, where we were at, which I'm pretty sure was that creek right there where the bridge is. Right, guys? Pretty sure. All right. I'm going to reach up, hit our timer, and hit X. There we go. All right. We're off. I'm looking for speed. I'm not sure if I'm going sure to be able to tell speed. We'll definitely be able to see it on the timer, though. Remember last time, it was just over two minutes. Right, or was it like right at two minutes? It was just about a little over two minutes. I am looking down at the drain rate though. It does look like it's draining. Really, I can't even see it moving. Right? Can you see that, guys? It's not even the. 
It's not even moving barely. I can barely see. This is pretty cool. This is one upgrade that I definitely recommend that you guys work towards. Level 51 for this saddle. Level 54 for these stirrups. You could buy other saddles at a le lower level, but it's not going to be an improved one, and they're not really much better than the saddle that you might already have. So definitely look at those stats and see what's the best thing for you to do there. Wait until 51 and buying this saddle for $100 and those stirrups, the stirrups were like 100 and something too. So I spent, I spent a couple hundred bucks and it's amazing. Look at the, these can run forever. Not even halfway drained yet. And we're at a minute and 22. So speed, you know, we got, I'm not sure that those, we got two bars faster. Or maybe we, I didn't know what the other saddle bar for that. I think it was already, so we got one bar speed wise, I think. One bar higher on our speed stats, which I'm not sure what that really means in percentage wise. I wish it would give you like a little percentage. I mean, we're a little quicker. We're almost there. We're probably gonna beat, you know, 10 seconds maybe. Yeah, see, we're maybe 10 seconds quicker speed wise. Not much, but look at those. Look at that. We still had a quarter of our bar left. We could, we could have still ran quite a lot farther. And look how fast it's regaining health. That's pretty fast. It's like, what's that? Probably like 5% every second, maybe? I mean, we were just, it's been 20 seconds right now. Definitely regains a lot faster. That is pretty cool. And if you use that with some of the other things we've opened up and unlocked, like the horse meal and the special horse stimulant that we've purchased from the fence, we could probably run quite a lot. If you guys want to see me do a ultimate horse run, let me know. We will make sure we have horse meal, horse stimulant, fully fortified gingerbread, and see how far we can get on one run. So let me know if you guys want to see that in the comment. That'd be pretty cool. Okay, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hope to see you out on the prairie sometime. Until then, catch me if you can.